Hello everyone, my name is Kubik and welcome back to another video. We're going to be continuing our series of how to install HAMS products. Uh, so this last video we covered the HAMS CAD. This video we're going to be covering the community panel or community site. So uh, starting off, if you haven't already purchased it, head over to the store.hams.dev website, purchase a license uh, and that you can get started straight away. So this uh, tutorial is going to be based upon you using a cPanel web hosting. Um, today I'm going to be using our partner uh, Simplistic Node. Uh, you can use any web hosting company you like. Uh, however, it is preferred to use web hosting, not a VPS or dedicated server to host on. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to the store.hams.dev website. Log in in the top right and then click on Authorize. From here, you're then going to want to click on your name in the top right. And then you're going to look for the HAMS community um, one here, and then click Download. That's then going to download the folder to your desktop. And what we're going to do is that we're going to then extract it to your desktop. Close out of the zip folder. In here, you're going to have two sets of files, a web folder and an SQL folder. So next, what you're going to do is head over uh, to your cPanel hosting. So in my case, it's this one. Uh, log in with the correct details. Unlike my last video where I couldn't spell the tutorial correctly. Um, so once you're inside of cPanel, uh, you can then scroll down until you see the files section. Click on to file manager. Just going to open that up in a new tab. Click into holic underscore HTML and click the upload button. Go back to your folder that you just previously downloaded. Now inside of the web files and then inside of the hams community, highlight all of them, right click and compress to zip file. Now it's going to come up with an, an error here because essentially one of these folders is empty. It doesn't have anything in it at this present moment, which is going to be, I believe, the API file. Correct. So we'll just go ahead and remake that. If you're using uh, WinRAR or something similar, it may not throw up that error, just I'm using the Windows base model, just because that's what's guaranteed to be on everyone's computer. So once you have that zip folder, drag and drop that onto the uh, file manager, close out of that tab and reload. And then you'll see your zip folder there. Right click on it, click on extract, click on extract again, and then click close. Make sure you do delete the zip folder. You are responsible as a customer uh, that you do not redistribute those files to people who are unauthorized of having them. Did I just click extract? Click delete, it's what I was supposed to do. Now, whilst we're here, we're just going to create that API folder just in case we need that in the future. And there it is. So the only thing that you now need to do is find the config.php file, right click and click edit and edit again. Now this one has a lot less options than what uh, the CAD system has because most of the CAD settings, features and functions are going to be actually on the website itself. So what you're going to want to do is this is going to be your SQL information. So head back over to cPanel. Now underneath files, you're going to see databases. Click on to manage my databases. And here you can see the CAD one we did earlier. So in here, this one, we're going to call this uh, com site. Click on create database and copy that name. Head over to the config.php and on line 15, you're going to replace that name. Once you've changed that name, head back over to the My, Manage My Databases tab. Click Go Back. Scroll down. Now, in my previous video, I did explain about the whole users thing. So for me personally, I use one MySQL user for all of the HAMS products. Um, that's the way I install it for other people as well, and it, it's just personal preference. You're more than welcome to create your own user for each and individual um, installation, essentially. But for the, for the purpose of the tutorial and the purpose of me doing it on a regular basis, I'm just going to use the admin user. 
Otherwise, if you were to want to create your own, type in a username here, type in a password, or click on Password Generator, and click Create. Once you've completed that step, you're then going to go down to Add User to Database, and we're going to choose our admin user, and we're going to select the Com Site Database, and click Add. Now we want it to have all of the permissions that it physically can have, so click All Privileges, and then click Make Changes. And in the green bar at the top, it says success. We did it. So now what you want to do is click go back and then click cPanel. Scroll down until you see databases again and then click PHP My Admin. Open that up. And then once you're in here, you've now see that there's a tutorial folder click into the tutorial and click onto com site. In here, you want to import your database. Click on that one. You could click on that one, which is gonna go into my screenshots. Or in this case, it's gonna be slowly easier. Just go back into the folders, SQL and drag and drop. Once you see a green tick and says success, it means it's uploaded. You can verify that by going into the structure and there's everything there. So we're going to close out of that now. And we're going to close out of PHP My Admin because we don't need that one anymore. Now, for the purpose of the previous video that I did, I created the admin user and password. Now I have that information saved, so I'm going to just paste that onto that one. And then click Save Changes because that section is now done. Now, one thing I did forget earlier, which we'll do now, is we'll do the base URL. So this one is going to be the, the website address that you want your community site to be on. So for me, it's tutorial.hams, no, yep, hams.pro. <laughs> I was so focused on making sure that I spelled tutorial correctly. So now click save changes just so it updates on that one. Now Discord, I will, um, we also previously created a Discord bot on the first video. I will pop a link in the description where you can go back and check out all of that. However, we do need to get, um, we do need to add another redirect link. So head over to the Discord developer portal and then you're going to look for the bot that you did earlier and then head over to OAuth and then under the redirect section, you want to click add another. Now you can copy this one if you'd like. Now this is the CAD one that I did earlier. So for the reference of that video, I'm just gonna put cat in front of it. And for this one, again, it's just gonna be your domain name. So the base URL that we've copied over from here, line nine. And then you need to do slash actions slash register dot PHP. Once they're both green, select save changes and click close. Again, for the purpose of my previous video, I'm just gonna copy and paste the details over. Click save changes. Now on this one, admin roles. Um, so with this one, it's slightly different to the CAD system. So do pay attention with the different files about how they are set up. So on the previous video, what you want is the admin user will have full permissions over everything on that website and that script. So let me grab my role ID. So I'm gonna pop that one there. Now, if you wanted another one, say a car owner, you'll put their role ID there. But then don't put a comment a comma after it. If you want to create a third, simply put a comma, put the exclamation, the quotation marks, put their role ID in, but again, don't put the comma. So it needs to end with no comma. Click save changes. But in my case, I'm just going to run the same one. So I'm going to get rid of the line 27 and I'm going to get rid of that comma. And click save. And that's now done. So that is now your uh, community site installed. Now what you need to do is go over and license it. So I'm gonna grab the base URL and then we're gonna head over to license.hamscad.com. Log in with Discord. And then for the community site, paste that one in there and click update. Just remember as well, don't put in HTTPS, HTTP at the beginning, 
and don't put a slash at the end. So what you don't want, let's use the cat one for example, you don't want this for example. And if you do the, co the common thing which everybody does of just clicking and copying, it's going to copy all of that HTTPS colon slash slash and everything else. You don't want that. Essentially you want it to look like this one and not that one. So we're just going to replace that one. Now that's all done. So we've done the database and we've done the file structures. So we can now go to it. Now at first, every installation is going to come up with maintenance mode first. Now you're going to need to go and basically turn it off. There's two ways about doing it. Number one is the easiest way of just logging in. Number two is that you can go in through the database and turn it off that way. However, we generally recommend you doing it via the login section. Now, if you click on the little person in the bottom right, click on authorize. And as long as you have that role ID, it will log you in. Now, we'll quickly pause here for a second. If you are installing it for the first time or done it before, and you click on that little person, and instead of it bringing you back to this page, it brings you back to this page, and it won't, it won't allow you past it. There's a couple of important things to check. Number one is, do you have that role ID? Number two is, is that bot in a Discord server that can see your role? And number three, does your user name on Discord, your nickname or username, have any special characters or any ASCII text? If yes to any of those, remove it. Um, remove the text from your name and just put normal characters um, and just double check on the other stuff. If you are struggling at this point and you physically can't get past it, do open up a ticket on our support Discord and we will try to assist you further. So in my case, I'm just going to log in again and click authorize. Now, as you could see, uh, it then loads you into the community site and it's now working and it's now ready for you to edit it. So I'm just going to go over a couple of basic features um, and then it's more of a case of letting you kind of explore with it, find out what works for you, what kind of stuff you want on your website. So we're going to head over to the admin area in the top right. Now Ham's RP, so this is the server name. So for me, I'm just going to call it Tut RP. My Discord invite link, I'm going to put that there. My server IP, I'm going to put that there. And make sure to have the trailing port at the end. Accent colors, background colors, server logo, server banner, um, and this, that, and the other. You've got a load of options that you can basically go through and change. Now there's channel IDs, so this is going to be in the server, in your Discord server. Make sure that the bot can see that channel and can speak in that channel as well, otherwise you are going to have an issue. Click on update and TATRP has now been updated in the top left. Now some hosting providers do have limitations on how much you can and cannot upload. So if your server logo file size, not the dimensions, file size is too big, um, your hosting provider may limit you and instead of it uploading, you might see a white screen, it might crash. Um, so just double check with them, check what the maximum limit is and yeah, go from there. So scrolling down, you can then see the status page about servers, downloads, features and FAQ. Scrolling up to the top, you've then got your permissions section. So this is putting role IDs of whoever you want to be able to have access to all these different features. Your rules, you can create a category, create the rule name, and then create the description for that rule. You've then got the gallery where you can have some photos, team members, navigation bar, so this is at the top. Create your own custom pages create a department or staff application or whatever you like. It doesn't have to be one of those. Uh, banner user, developer tools. So this is your um, boards and then developer boards or suggestions basically. And that is it. That is your community site done. Now, one thing I will note, if for example, you see here, the online players is currently blank. That basically means that your server hosting, your uh, web site hosting company has a firewall which is blocking outside connections. All you need to do is open up, contact them, open up a ticket, live chat, however they accept support. Um, give them your server IP and they will then whitelist that. And then once they've whitelisted it, it will show up pretty much automatically. And um, yeah. So yeah, so that, that's covering that bit. Um, if you do run into any problems, 
do give us a shout. We do have a documentation on this as well, um, which is on the community site documentation, which goes through all the different steps that you need to. It is going to be updated soon as well. Um, and yeah, also, if you need any help, Discord server is in the description. Apart from that, we'll see you on the next video, which we will be covering the staff panel. Apart from that, have a great day.